Hi friends, it's Kristen. For this week's craft, we're gonna be making cat and dog collages. You can register for your kit online and keep watching this video to learn how to make one of these. So what we're gonna to do to get started is pick out our stencil. You're gonna have a bunch of cats and a bunch of dogs to choose from. And what you're gonna do is cut each one of these out. So you're gonna notice on, depending on what stencil you pick, there are solid lines and dotted lines. You're gonna go ahead and count, cut out both of those. The reason they're like that is because it's a pumpkin stencil. So they will, if you would do it on the pumpkin, it would be a little bit different. And if you look in the bottom corner of each pattern you get, it shows you what the finished product looks like. Um, anything that's dark black in here is gonna be the paper background when you finish. So once you cut all the pieces out, what you're gonna do is take your brown paper and just lay out all your cutouts figure out where and how you would like your finished face to look. I put this face over on this side of the paper because you have enough paper to make two faces. And I'm gonna put my cat over here. You can do two cats, two dogs, or a dog and a cat. You're gonna get enough paper for both. And once you've figured out how you like it, you're gonna go through your colored paper. And you're gonna get an assortment and start figuring out how you'd like the finished product to look. You're gonna get stuff with small patterns and stuff with big patterns. Big patterns tend to work really well on bigger pieces because you can see the whole pattern, uh, whereas small pieces, you're gonna lose that. So if you want something cool like this and you go to make a nose, you'll see you're just gonna get green and a little bit on the corners, not a whole thing. But if you do it with the ear, you'll get a whole cross section of stripes. So figure out what you like to do. And then once you have, you're gonna take your cutout shapes and a handy trick I've learned, is instead of tracing every single shape again and cutting them out one by one, which you can still do if you feel comfortable, you take a little piece of tape and roll it over so it's sticky on both sides just stick it on the back of your piece and then wherever you put it on here it stays in place and you can just cut out around it also if you have tape on the back of all these pieces when you lay it out all of these will stay in place just the way you want it until you're done so start cutting that out. I find it's easier if you cut all the fussy little bits before you cut this off the big chunk. So like I can get it in and out of here a lot easier to cut all this little stuff. Whereas if I had it like that, there's a lot less room for your hand to go. Just follow the outline. It's okay if it's a little larger because you can always go back and trim it just the way you like it. And when you're done, all you do is peel that away gently. You've got your template and you've got your ear. And then you're just going to place that roughly here and finish cutting out the rest of your pieces. When you're ready to school them down, I recommend glue stick. I have lost my glue stick. There it is. So, I'm very professional. And you are just gonna glue on the white back of here, all the way to the corners. And then you can put it down. Why I'm using glue stick instead of Elmer's glue is because glue stick, when you put it down like that, and if you don't quite like it, you still have time to peel this up and move it around. White glue also soaks through the paper and makes it dark and soggy. So the finished product sometimes looks stained, whereas that doesn't show through at all. So there's my first ear. And I can, I can tell I didn't tape these pieces because they're wiggling around. But if I had taped them, they wouldn't be. So just keep cutting out your pieces and gluing them down until you have oops, whatever two faces you want. I did one dog and one cat. 
and there you have it. You can leave the eyes just as the paper if you like the paper. If you want to draw eyes on, you can do that. Or if you're like me, then you can add some googlies. Put those googlies on. And then you can leave them together like that, or if you leave enough space, you can cut that down the middle and have one pet portrait each to keep or to give away and enjoy. So if you like to do this craft, you can go ahead and register online and I hope you have a good day.